Hello, in this short we will learn how to do uh, object groups. Uh, the object groups are uh, important in order to treat uh, how to say things that are uh, uh, composed by several objects uh, as uh, uh, if it was one. And this uh, can be very important when you have to build uh, entities like doors or uh, rotation uh, fans uh, etc etc but it can be applied for uh, to all the type of uh, entities so let's uh, uh, go and see how do we create an object group uh, okay so the object groups uh, you see are here um, I have already created one, let's say, that is uh, the sliding window, uh, but now for the sake of this uh, tutorial I will uh, create two others. Uh, the first one is the um, door, uh, entrance door uh, group, object group. So first of all, let's say I have to uh, add a new object group let's call it uh, entrance door okay and then I expand and now I have to list all the uh, objects in the model that are part of this group okay so let's uh, zoom into the entrance door to be sure that we are able to get all the objects of the door so you uh, as usual as I already explained in other tutorial you click twice in order to um, highlight the object name of uh, the panel of the door okay and I do like this okay I cut and cut and uh, I create uh, the first object of the entrance door and I list it here okay so it's very easy uh, now you do the same for all the other objects of the door uh, so for instance uh, uh, what I see here is this uh, aluminium 216 so is the handles and, uh, and the lock I, mm, you have to see if, let's say for instance, uh, uh, the, these uh, two, the lock and the handle, are both part of the same object, so you don't have to list it twice. Okay. So uh, now uh, I see as well the hinges. Uh, let's add the hinges too. Let's say is, uh, could be nece not necessarily uh, important, but. Uh, uh, you will see hinges are important for the rotation of the door so I see that uh, this one is a 215 double clicking on it I add it this one you see here is also 215 so probably let's say this object is already um, how to say grouped uh, inside the sweet home 3d Okay, um, and then what I can do is uh, to go uh, the other way around uh, in the um, in the door in order to see if the panel from the other side uh, of the um, of the door is uh, as the same object. Okay, so gloss white. Uh, this one, uh, let's say, gloss white two hundred sixteen is I think the same as this one uh, the end uh, from the other side uh, I guess it is exactly the same so basically now we have uh, um, created an object group that represents the uh, full uh, part of the moving uh, of the moving door okay uh, and this is now called the entrance door So 
so nothing is happening right now uh, but uh, for instance uh, uh, one example of what I can do even if uh, it is an example that doesn't make sense but just to show you say I can create uh, a, a new entity that is called light say I uh, make it of type uh, hide uh, let's say you will see later what uh, type hide is and in order to reference the newly created object group uh, I use the name that I have created under um, the bracket here let's say this type of bracket okay and then as a hide uh, uh, I hide when the light is on okay and I save it okay so now you can see that when I switch on the light the door disappears okay so you don't see it anymore voila uh, of course, let's say there are uh, other way to make the door uh, rotate, etc., etc. But this we will see it later. Uh, another example that we can do uh, on the uh, objects is uh, the uh, fun here. Let's say so. Let's do the fun too. Let's say in order to complete the tutorial. So I add uh, a new uh, object group. I call it uh, fun. Bedroom fun, let's say, and I start to uh, list the objects that are part of it. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's see this one ceiling fan 955, uh, etc. Okay, so let's feel first expand and let's add a new object ID. Okay, then uh, I check if uh, let's say the two um, the two colors of the uh, of the fan uh, is are the same. No, you see that the two colors are different. Okay, so I add another object, and I try to see as well if each of them are uh, the same or not let's say so they have to see uh, what are the different uh, objects that are composing the the fun sometimes let's say in the model uh, the the objects are already grouped in a way that you will see only one name for several distinct objects so you have to be sure that what you do is uh, uh, how to say you take uh, note of the ids of the objects you see here, for instance, uh, 6,823,3955. Okay, and I see if I had already uh, created it. Yes. 6,82,995. So it means that, uh, let's say, um, all the um, black part of the four uh, elements of the fan, rotating elements of the fan are uh, the same, so you don't have to add them. Uh, probably, let's say this is true as well for uh, the so brown. Now I add, uh, I've seen uh, that uh, basically I have only two elements for the four uh, rotating uh, elements, then now I take the central elements and I add them. Okay, so probably now it is complete. I don't see many other things. Uh, let's see if uh, 953 okay, uh, 953 okay, and 956 okay. So now I think that we have completed and we have our bedroom fan uh, defined as an object. And here, let's say the same. 
um, I can uh, define another entity uh, always uh, with the light associated to it even if it doesn't make sense it's just to explain you the principle um, I do define it as a hide like the door and the object uh, uh, is uh, uh, as you have understood is bedroom fun okay and in the hide option I still put state on meaning that when the state is on let's say the object will disappear okay so now I save and again uh, surprise surprise when I click on uh, the light to uh, switch it on let's say the door disappears and the fan disappears as a whole so we have taken all the objects composing the fan we have grouped them together and then they are disappearing together when we are using the hide entities hope it was clear let's say and the object group uh, are very important you will see for many many uh, usages inside the, the card thanks and don't forget to subscribe and like the video